Good morning, my name is Dylan. I'm one of the medical students here and today I've been asked to take a little sample from the back of your throat. Would that be okay with you? Yeah, that would be okay with me. Fantastic. Can I just confirm your name and date of birth, please? My name is Brett Clements. I was born on the 15th of October, 1971. Thank you very much, it's just a standard question we have to make sure we've got the right person. So, this procedure will basically involve me taking a swab. I will insert it into your throat and I will look at the areas around your tonsils. I will swab it along the back of your throat. This procedure shouldn't be painful, but it might be a little bit unpleasant. So if you do feel any pain, uh, please raise your hand. So with that being said, are you ready to get started? Ready to go when you are, Skip. So here we go. I'm just gonna take the packaging off the swab. There we go. Could I just ask you to tilt your head back for me, please? Thank you very much. So uh, please open wide. Here we go. Perfect. So I'm just gonna swab the tonsillar arches, the back of the throat, I'm going to avoid the uvula, the tongue um, and the cheeks, so perfect, thank you very much, taking it out, I'm going to put it straight into the container here, and there we go, thank you very much, the procedure is now complete, do you have any questions? No, no questions at the moment, see you later Skip. Alright, we're free to go. Morning guys, welcome back to another video. It's so nice to see you. Welcome back to the channel. How you doing? How you doing? In today's video, we'd like to take you through a standard day in the life of what it is we get up to when we're at home, when we're doing our studies and stuff like that. So if you're interested, sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. The start of our day is basically determined when we have a Zoom meeting in the morning. So for example, we had class fairly early today, around 9 a.m. in the morning, and that means we rolled out of bed around 8.52, but uh, if, if there's class around 12, that means we'll roll out of bed around 11.52. I'm certainly no morning person, are you? Well, I think it's good to get up early, but uh, I don't think I'm a morning person either, mate. Yeah, so that's just the way it goes, I suppose. No shame at all in that. We have an exam coming up in a few days, which has a practical part, so uh, we were just getting some practice here. Why am I, why am I talking to a stuffed animal? <laughs> we were just practicing for the practical part of that exam after our first Zoom class. So I've got a few hours, so I've got a small hiatus in between my next Zoom class Class, and that means that this is the perfect opportunity seeing that hairdressers are open again as you can see like my hair's grown so I need to get a haircut so I think I'm gonna do that and yeah I'll catch up with you when I do five minutes later right so a uh, little bit of a change of plan ladies and gents so basically I read my timetable wrong and so class is in 15 minutes I thought it was in four hours so yeah, silly me, but it looks like I'm gonna to have to do this first. It's a two hours and 15 minute class, so not too bad. Gonna get this done, hopefully, and then go and get my hair sorted and stuff. Middle, please, it's middle. Right, let's go. Hey, falls it, smashes it for four. Oh, you just shattered a mirror. Right, so I've just come to university behind me, but nothing related to academic purposes at all. So next to the university, there's uh, the RSU Health Centre, which uh, I needed to visit because I woke up two days ago and I couldn't hear anything out my left ear and it's happened before. I think my ears have got this habit of just building up excessive earwax. And so I had it done once before where they irrigated my ear. So that's what was wrong this time round as well and I'm wearing um, buds too and I feel so much so much lighter even with these buds on so yeah that's a good thing like it feels strange as I haven't been here in about a year but that was the main campus behind us there and the health centers over there so yeah and I used to live round here too so it's like visiting home like that used to be my local supermarket opposite me there. I don't even think you can see that, sorry. And I used to used to just walk around here, you know? I just got back, I just got back from Barcelona. Bro. From the barbers, as you can tell, cut my hair, uh, jumped in the shower. I was at my, uh, I'm at my PC. I'm just doing some work here for that. It's been about half an hour. And on the way back home, I popped past the post office because I had a parcel to pick up. Um, I know what it is. It's supposed to be 
uh, contact lenses that's inside here because I actually tried to buy some here. I was just browsing online. Uh, and yeah, really, really expensive. So uh, got some sent over here by my daddy. There we go, so it's almost half past five now and um, just looking outside now, two weeks ago or something it would have been pitch black but um, as you can see there's no lights on in here and uh, yeah it's really really nice so spring's coming but having said that this happened a while ago as well and then it started snowing again so who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> Nonetheless going to catch up with some uni work right now and I'll catch up with you soon. Good evening guys, I think that's the end of my day. I really had a fun day by myself, I suppose. You can't really meet anyone these days, but uh, I tried to do a lot today and I think I did quite a lot. I managed to do some more practice actually of some practical manipulations that may come up for this upcoming exam. So um, I'm feeling pretty good, I think. It's gonna be all right, Finger, keep your fingers crossed for me, please, maybe. <laughs> I feel good about that, and uh, yeah, looking forward to exam day. More often than not, at the end of my day, I enjoy going on a little short walk and um, taking in all the, the local sites there are to see. Uh, you'll be surprised, actually, you walk around uh, Riga Center, Riga, uh, Riga's old town, and um, there's always something new that you haven't seen, and I've been here for five years, and. Um, it's option one, I don't open my eyes enough, or two, I genuinely am surprised uh, more often than not most days. But yeah, I enjoy walking around, taking it all in, and uh, just clearing your head, I suppose. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, thank you very much. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and subscribe if you're new and you'd like to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace, bye. Oh,